since I know that it's the time of year when everyone is planning to go back to school, I wanted to talk about planning from rest for the homeschool and what that looks like in our home. For those of you who don't know, my name is Pamela and on my channel we talk all about biblical homemaking, homeschooling, farm and garden, and healthy living. Okay, so on to the first thing that I do every year where I start is prayer. Now this may seem kind of obvious to some, <laughs> but it definitely wasn't to me and the Lord taught me a very big lesson through that. Now James 1.5 tells us that whoever lacks wisdom, they can come to the Lord and the Lord gives it generously, right? So we can trust him at his word that he will give it to us generously if we ask him to guide us and give us wisdom in what he's called us to do. Now, the first two years I did not do this, like I did not intentionally pray over our subjects in our homeschool and what it was going to look like and I was stuck in a certain subject. And finally I cried out to the Lord and I said, Lord, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm incredibly insecure over this. And lo and behold, less than two weeks later, I meet this incredible lady who um, loves the Lord, obviously, and who was a private tutor for spelling. <laughs> Crazy. And um, I was kind of telling her my dilemma, and she's like, oh my goodness, my friend, my very good friend, actually does this as a ministry. She actually teaches parents, right, especially homeschoolers, how to use this incredible program at home. And she'll even give it to you at a discount. Oh my goodness. It was incredible, like this lady gave me a huge discount on the curriculum, she came to my home, she modeled it for me, she went through the book, it was like, Lord, <laughs> he, the Lord is in the details and he cares, he really, really does, he is just waiting for us to come to him um, as his children and be dependent on him. And um, anyway, pray, 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 let the Lord lead you in what he wants your homeschool to look like. Okay, so the second thing I do is assess. Assess my homeschool in general. Um, when I first started, I developed a homeschool mission statement, and um, which which is really just you know what I want my end result to be, what I see my harvest as being as far as my children's character and. Um, really what my goal is in homeschooling and what I've been called to do. And that is actually hanging in my kitchen so that I can see it every single day, so that my perspective is right, and so that I'm reminded of the harvest every single day. Um, because homeschooling is a journey <laughs> and it's hard and you need to be reminded and you need to have the right perspective and remind yourself every single day of the harvest that's ahead. So that was really, really, really important. Um, that's something that's really helped me a lot. Um, I also write out goals for myself, spiritually, um, as far as homeschooling, parenting. Um, and I also write goals for my children, um, not only academically, but um, just character goals and things like that. Um, and I actually keep that in my planner so that, once again, it's in my mind and um, I have the right perspective each and every day. Okay, everyone, that is it for part one of our homeschooling series on planning from rest. My very favorite Bible verse, and I will leave you with this, is Matthew 11:28 through 30. And it's really our Lord inviting everyone who is weary and burdened and heavy laden to come to him and he promises to give us rest. Like what mom, <laughs> what mom is not burdened? What mom is not weary from training, right? And the Lord is just so beautiful how the Lord promised to give, promises to give us rest in that. And not only that, he says, take my yoke upon you because I am humble and I am gentle. Learn from me. Sit at the feet of Jesus every single day and learn from him. And he, he promises to give rest to our souls, right? Not that it won't be hard, not that it's still not very much a marathon, right? But he promises that we will do it in rest and that his burden is light. Um, so I want to encourage you in that today. The Lord is waiting for you to seek him and come to him because he is your daddy. <laughs> So seek the Lord as you are planning 
for homeschool and um, I'll see you in part two of our homeschooling series on how to plan.